YouTube land, and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I am your host, Alex Payne, and today is pretty much the night after WrestleMania when everything goes crazy. These are the Monday Night Rolls that you always want to tune in for and check out, because the crowd could be crazy as hell, and they'll be cheering the bad guys, booing the good guys. Here we go. And just to keep you updated, tomorrow I do get my surgery done, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a Tuesday night SmackDown reactions. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling uh, and whatnot. But guys, yes, let's get to Monday Night Raw. Last night at WrestleMania, we've seen championships change hands. We've seen championships retained. We've seen, <clears throat> we've seen returns. We've seen an era ended. We've seen fall. We've seen people fall. We've seen people rise. We've seen moments in WrestleMania. We've seen engagements. Let's see what happens tonight on Monday Night Raw. So we kick off Monday Night Raw with the fans going on. Thank you, Taker. Thank you, Taker. Thank you, Taker. For like a good 15 minutes and then. Thank you, Taker. So Roman sucks. Thank you, Taker. Roman sucks. I want him for five minutes. And uh, Roman's music candy came out. Uh, they said, uh, you're a fucker. You're a fucker. You're a fucker. And it kept going on, kept going on. And then, uh, uh, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. And they kept booing him, booing him, booing him. And he only had one thing to say, too. He's like, this is my yard now. Drops the microphone. Walks away. But I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the one and only American Badass Dead Man Inc. Phenom The Undertaker for all the years you've put in from WWE for when you made your debut at Survivor Series and having one of the best WrestleMania streaks ever. Even though you have lost twice, but that's that's fine. No one's ever going to be able to duplicate that. No one's going to ever be like you. So I, personally, Undertaker, would like to thank you for all the moments that you gave us, all those memories, all the moments, all the, the oh my gods and holy shit and everything that you've done. You're always going to be the Undertaker. No one's going to ever be able to take that spot from you. You are one of a kind, sir. You're in a league of your own. Thank you. So much, Undertaker. Thank you. So we move on. Next match. Well, the first match, I must say, of the night is for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. The newly crowned WWE Tag Team Champions, the Hardy Boys, a.k.a. known as Broken Matt and Brother Nero. Delete. 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 <clears throat> Taking on the formal champs, <clears throat> Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. That match is up next, and it is for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Yeah! Obsolete! Delete! 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 <clears throat> so the match starts off between Matt Hardy, Broken Matt, and Carl Anderson. So the match starts off, and we are going, and it starts off the basic tie-up, you know, boom. Uh, throws him in the corner, clothesline, uh, throws him in the corner again, elbow to the face, uh, and then, like, that's just dominating, like, you know, Carl Anderson and whatnot. And then, um, hang on a minute. And then, um, pretty much what happens after that is that, uh, they do their attack to move, one, two, kick out, uh, Matt tries to do it, Matt does the side effect, one, two, kick out, uh, then he throws him outside of the, Carl Anderson outside the ring, and then Luke Gallows tries to get in, and they double close on him over the top rope, commercial break. <sighs> so we come back from Monday Night Raw, and Matt Hardy's getting the shit kicked out of him by <clears throat> Carl and, no, no, sorry, Luke Gallows. Uh, they're pretty much beating up on Matt pretty good. Uh, then he finally gets... Uh, Jeff in there. Jeff gets in there like a house of fire, knocking everybody on their ass. Uh, and then they knock Matt, they not get Matt, no, not Matt, but Jeff down. And then they knock Matt off the turnbuckle. They do the Buddha Doom. Oh God, no. What's going to happen? One, two, kick out. And then they go for the magic killer. 
and then Matt pulls uh, Carl Anderson out and knocks him on his ass. Uh, no, I. Jeff does something pretty cool. He does like this cool the, his twist of fate where he like does a stone cold stunner into it, but he leg dropped uh, Carl Anderson and then he rolled out and then tagged in Matt. He did the twist of fate Swan Tom Bomb combination one two three retained the tag titles. Brock Lesnar is going to be in the house tonight uh, uh, because he won the WWE Universal Champion. And there's going to be a tag team match tonight. It's going to be Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. No, no. Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe taking on Chris Jericho and Seth Rollins. The following matchup was a cruiserweight match, non-title match against Neville, the king of the cruiserweights, cruiserweight champion, um, and whatnot. Um, and... There we go. And it was against Mustafa Ali. And uh, this is a pretty good match. Like, Mustafa came out with guns a-blazing, you might as well say. And, uh... And, uh, whatnot. <clears throat> to, uh... <coughs> and then he came out of guns blazing her Karanas. Like, legit punches and these badass moves. And, you know, it kind of started off a little slow. Then it picked up in the end and, like... Legit, like, there's some high risk maneuvers. Then Neville did a couple of his cool moves. And then Mustafa did these cool combination moves with a, 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 a tornado DDT that stood Neville up and a, a Hurricanrana that, like, he flipped him and made him top, like, legit hit his head. And uh, Neville did a clothesline so hard you could hear it echo through the building. And oh my god. And then he was going for the red arrow. Uh, and then the fans were like, yeah. He's like, nope. Saturn Rain. He does a submission move. Mustafa taps out. Um, <clears throat> Neville wins the match. Uh, yeah. And so there we go. So, uh, after the commercial break, we come back. Oh, man. Wait, no, after the Neville match goes backstage, there's a limo that pulls up. Who gets out of it? Vince McMahon himself. So then we come back from commercial break. Vince, <clears throat> Vince comes out. He says, well, they're... That uh, pretty much next week on Monday Night Raw, there's a thing between Raw and SmackDown, and it's going to be a, all the superstars. It's going to be shooken up again. Um, and then he made the he showed the clip of uh, Stephanie pretty much uh, getting put through the table last night when uh, Seth Rollins did the super kick to Triple H, and Triple H just stumbled into her, knocked her off the apron, and put her through the table. She's going to be gone for a little while. The fans went crazy and loved it, and. Um, <laughs> and then she's like, why you guys have no sympathy, no heart, you are just vicious, vicious bloodthirsty people, what the heck is wrong with you? And he's like, um, he's like, oh, and since, like, Stephanie's gone for a while, and we have no GM, because Mick's fired, he's like, we have a new GM, and, and before he gets anything, like, he's like, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame last night, and you hear, it's the Mac Militant. And, like Teddy Long comes out and he's all happy and whatnot. And he's like, he's like, Vince is like, cut his music, cut his music. I said, cut his music, damn it. So then uh, they cut his music. He's like, Teddy, it's not you. It's he's, it's not me. No, it's not you. It's not you. Huh? My bad, my bad. And he's all dancing around and stuff. And Vince telling him to stop and he gets the hell out of there. And Vince is like, you're a general manager. Um, you're a general manager. Oh, he, maybe I did it wrong. He's a little bit of a prima donna. Um, you're general manager of Monday Night Raw. You're general manager of Monday Night Raw, Kurt Angle. Do, 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 do. You suck. You suck. Yeah. It's the fans were saying he got in the ring. And he said, I don't think Mick, I don't think Mick, the only thing Kurt Angle says is, oh, it's real. It's damn real. So Kurt Angle is the new general manager of Monday Night Raw, and Brock Lesnar is going to address us all for the first time ever for being the WWE Universal Champion. So the host from last night, the New Day, pretty much came out and they're like you know it was cool that we got to host wrestlemania it was so awesome thank you guys we set attendance records and everything like that we did everything cool but we wish that we could have gotten a ring and fought because that's what we like doing we like to scrap um and then 
Uh, he's like, I'd like to think, Cookie King says, I'd like to thank all of you people. And they're like, who, 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 who? And he's like, you, the, and Xavier's like, you people? What? He's like, oh, I'm sorry, the WWE Universe. Um, and he's like, you know what? We're, we're in the mood to fight. So uh, we're issuing an open challenge to any team in the back locker room to come on out and face us right now. So and then they're like, who's going to face us? Who, 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 who? And then uh, pretty much music hits and the crowd pops. It's a team from NXT. The Revival comes out. And they get a big ass pop. Fans go crazy. Off their feet cheering. The, the New Day is like, oh shit. Um, so then they're in the ring and Isaiah Rhodes is getting his ass kicked right now. Uh, and then we go to commercial break. Um, okay, we have a lot to cover here, ladies and gentlemen. So we get back from commercial break with the uh, Kofi Kings. No, sorry. Xavier Woods and Big E tag team match against the Revival. Revival is kicking their ass. Still has Xavier Woods in the ring, beating the shit out of him. Left from filler to post and everything like that, right? So then, uh, finally, he gets Big E in. Big E gets in there. House of Fire, destroying everybody. Xavier gets back in. <laughs> Uh, now, Big E tries for his diving spear, misses completely. Cool. Xavier's taking everybody on by himself. He looks like he's about to win this match. He does that rolling bull hammer elbow thing, and then he gets in the corner, doesn't see it, and then Dawson goes over and tags the, his one partner in, runs at him, does that, like, uh, he does a move, and then he rolls into, oh, what move did he do? Oh, he did the, full, the forearm, and he gets in the corner, rolls through with that to try to do a clothesline, Ran right into their tag team finisher. Boom. One, two, three. Dawson and... I can't remember. There you go. Dawson and who his partner won the match. Uh, and Kofi was pulling Xavier out. And then they pulled Kofi in. Beat him up a little bit. Go to the top rope. Put his legs together. Jumps off the top rope. Well, middle rope. And legit cracks the ankle. And Xavier... Uh, no, Xavier. Kofi's like, ah, my ankle. So then we go backstage... Shows Kurt Angle unboxing some stuff, and then Big Kaz and Enzo Amore come in, and he's like, hey, he's like, I am a certified G and a bona fide stud, and you can't teach that. He's like, and Kurt's like, no, you can't. Uh, and he's like, this guy right here, his name is Big Kaz, and he's seven foot tall. You can't teach that. <clears throat> he's like, oh, I guess not. Bada boom, real guy's in the room. I done. And Kurt's like, well, I had a pretty good week. Got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And then today I got announced as the WWE General Manager on Monday Night Raw. It's doing pretty good. So, how you doing? He's like, yeah. Uh, he's like, we got gold around our neck like you do, Kurt, you know. But we, we're lacking gold around our waist. You know what I mean? And Kurt's like, yeah, okay, I got you. He's like, no, what I'll do? He's like, I'll put, there'll be a number one contenders match tonight. So, Zara and Sheamus versus you two. Whoever wins gets a tag team title shot. They're like, okay, that sounds good. And he's like, Cesaro, not Cesaro, but <laughs> Big Cat's like, we're going to spell, the, that team is going down. And we're going to give you a good reason why they're going down. And I'm going to spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T, soft. Walks away and Kurt's like, wait a minute. It's not how you spell soft. <laughs> and then he walks, he's like, what, what? And then uh, next matchup is Bailey versus somebody. Here we go. So the next matchup is pretty much a six women tag team match. It consisted of Bailey, Sasha Banks, Dana Brooke, and finally we got Emma, Nia Jax, and Charlotte. This match just pretty much it wasn't really that long of a match. Just a couple spots, a couple moves. Um, you know. Uh, almost all the girls got to get in. Nia got in at one time and, and destroyed everybody. Uh, pretty much in the end, I'm bad with the memory thing like anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, natural selection to, Char to Sasha Banks. Nope. Sorry. Didn't happen. Reversed it. Banks statement. Tapped out. She got mad at the end. Pushed around. Nia Jax and Emma and Nia Jax destroyed Charlotte. Went to the back and Kurt's talking to... <clears throat> Yeah, to a guy named Belch. Yes, excuse me. Um, talking to Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn said he's a big fan of Kurt Angle's, and he wants to have the same relationship with Kurt Angle. 
as he did with McFoley. But if he didn't want to do that, it's fine. And he didn't know if, like, legit he was going to get traded to SmackDown since the whole thing next week is going to be all shooken up. And he thinks it'd be cool to go to SmackDown. But there is a McMahon over there, and he knows how the McMahons work. And it's like, I don't know what the heck's going on. And Jinder Mahal comes in claiming that he should have won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal last night. And he got screwed. So Kurt's like, oh my god, okay, just the two of you, work out your differences out there. It's going to be Sami Zayn versus a... Oh, you. Sami Zayn, you're going to face off against Jinder Mahal. Get out. <clears throat> so, Brock Lesnar and them are out there in the ring with the new Universal Champion with Paul Heyman. And he was saying, well, this is what me and Brock tell our kids is a bedtime story. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there was a man that everybody feared. And he always brought his spear and jackhammer. And he went into the village and took everything away from him, including the Universal Championship. And then he ran into the beast. And he was slayed. He's like, eh, we got some other things that we have to attend to. And it has to do with two. The one and twenty-two. Now, the one in two and 23 in two. He's like, you think you're the big dog around here? How about we challenge you? We're calling you out, Roman Reigns. And then who comes out? Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman's like, whoa, Roman Reigns got your attention. This is me getting yours. And he pushes him, he stares at him, and then he walks away. Stupid. Then we go in the back, and Jericho's talking about like how he's going to get the, the United States title back in four weeks, um, and whatnot, right? So then, I'm oh, going just sorry, yes. Um, and then he's like, oh, uh, he's like, tip, tip of, uh, what's it, tip of Kevin Owens saved your match last night. Guess what? You made the list! Uh, and whatnot, and so... Then uh, Kevin Owens comes out of nowhere and beats the crap out of uh, Jericho. Then here comes Samoa Joe. They beat him up and then do a power bomb through the table. So there we go. All right. So the match we have up next is oh crap! Wait, uh, I'm getting too far in my head of myself. After the attack on Jericho and put through uh, a table in the back, he is not able to compete. The match will still go on, and Kurt's going to find. Seth Rollins, a suitable tag team partner for the time, I'm assuming for the main event tonight, um, to face off against Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe. Uh, so we go to the match. The match up next is the number one contendership for the Raw Tag Team Championships, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Big Kaz and Luke, uh, Luke Gallows. Big Kaz and Enzo Amore. Uh, that starts off fast and furious. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, and, and like Sheamus and the are dominating. And then finally Big Kaz gets in and he starts throwing pretty much into a round and we go to a commercial break. So the match between them happens and uh, Cesaro is beating the crap. I've been saying it a lot tonight, beating the crap, but it's very true. Out of, you know, into Amore. Uh, Big Kaz finally gets in, destroys everybody, big boots. Empire elbow, uh, big boots like legit Sheamus, over the top rope. Tags as though in to go for the bada boom. Uh, he gets broke kicked in the face, and then pretty oh big cast gets big uh, the broke kick in the face, knocks him out of the ring, and then pretty much um what is it called? Let me think here. Pretty much uh. Leaves Enzo on the top rope. Sheamus throws him off at Cesaro. Uppercut, one, two, three. Sheamus and Cesaro become the new tag team... Not new tag team champs, but the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, uh... Let me think here. And, yeah. So, pretty much, that's what happened. So, the match between Jinder Mahal and Sami Zayn uh, comes to a... You know, a, to, I almost said to a halt. Too stupid. Uh, it comes about, and pretty much before Sami Zayn even got in the ring, Jinder attacked him, beat the crap out of him outside the ring. The ref asked if he was okay. He said, all right, let's continue this match. Uh, Jinder dominated a little bit, closed lines, uh, flying knee to, to the chin, uh, choke holds, you know, uh, and then, uh, he came running at, <coughs> excuse me, 
Then he came run. Then Jenner came running at uh, Sami Zayn, and then he did his exploder suplex into the corner. Uh, Hanuva Hanuva kick one two three won the match. Match up next: Kevin Owens, the new United States Champion, teaming up with the Destroyer Samoa Joe, taking on the King Slayer Seth Rollins and. A partner that Kurt Angle's gonna help, which I think it would be cool if it was like Shitsuke Nakamura. I would lose my shit, dude. Oh my god. But it's probably gonna be a Roman Reigns. Okay, so if everybody comes out and then like Rollins, Rollins getting his ring, and they're all like, come on, man, let's go. He's like, I'll take both you on by myself. I don't care whose music hits. -na 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 Finn Balor's back, baby. Finn Balor is Seth Rollins' his partner, the first ever WWE Universal Champion. So tonight it's going to be Samoa Joe and the new United States Champion, Kevin Owens, taking on the King Slayer, Seth Rollins and the Demon King. Well, he's not really the Demon King at the moment, but you know who I mean. Finn Balor. Yeah. So the match goes on, and at first, the three people that are in there, we start off with... Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. And, like, Seth is getting beat up. No, no, no. Seth Rollins is beating up on um, <clears throat> Kevin Owens. And the match is going great. And then we get Finn Balor in. Finn Balor shows that he can do a couple moves. That, you know, he's got no ring rust. He's doing his, like, normal grabbing ropes and kicking people in the head up from the outside. And, and like, legit fucking just running and punting people in the face. And uh, he goes in and does a couple more moves to uh, Kevin Owens. Tags in. Oh, what's his name? Seth Rollins again. Seth Rollins takes control for a little bit. Then, uh, Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens takes control on Seth for a little while, working on his leg, uh, because he dove over the top rope and did, like, a suicide dive and landed on his leg. Like, ah, shit! And, and, you know, whatnot. And then they started working on that, tagging in and out between Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens. And then, in the end, pretty much, it went like this. Finn Balor's the legal guy. Uh, Samoa Joe came from behind, was putting him in a coquita. And then uh, Seth Rollins jumped on the top rope, did that high fly knee to uh, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe went out. Kevin Owens did the super kick to uh, Seth. Seth rolled out. And then um, <clears throat> Finn Balor did that running drop kick in the corner. Coup de gras to the new United States champion. One, two, three. Winner of the match. And it's funny because, like, uh, like, Michael Cole's like, the winner of the match is new. He said, I mean, a winner of the match just by beating the United States champion. But uh, Finn Balor and. Seth Rollins won the match. Azure Man event. There we go. That's brought Monday Night Raw. Not bad on Monday Night Raw afterwards. You know, they were doing like the wave and stuff. We found out that we got a new general manager, Kurt Angle. We got the revival on Monday Night Raw. We got Finn Balor back. We have a new Universal Champion in Brock Lesnar. We have a new United States Champion in Kevin Owens. <clears throat> We have new tag champs in the Hardy Boys and Bailey as still the women's champion. Whew. Okay. Nice. So there we go, guys. What did you think of Monday Night Raw the night after all? Did you like it or just think they shit the bed? Leave it in the comments below. And I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers out there and welcome to the Chaos Asylum. So like I always say, share the video, leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Later.